Every day should be a rebirth. I think so. Your life! It's quite a ant. I'm trying to learn about cobras. When it's quite a progression from fire ants to unicorn. No, there's a beginning, it's good. You used to be a wolf. Okay. The wolf's mission is to uphold the well being and longevity of the pack. Healthy wolf energy expresses itself through activism, mentorship, humanitarian efforts, or teaching, religious or political studies. The wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every member of the tribe must follow suit. This includes children walking in their parents' footsteps. Mm -hmm. Although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, practicing tolerance helps balance out agitated wolf energy. Contemplate the following. Embrace all, exclude one. None, not one. Is that what you used to be like? Yeah, I, I suppose so. It seems quite barnum. I think that's probably what we're all a bit like, isn't it? Yeah, so probably. It's probably what I'd like to be like. You're a guardian of family and tribe, activism, ritual, present. Fire. <laughs> Feels a little bit shit, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Aggression. <laughs> Aggression, rigid thinking, following orders. I don't feel like this is going to be accurate. Fire and energy flares up without us noticing. It's the force that attracts us to people in situations that feed our imbalances rather than those that counter them. What does that mean? I don't know, mate. <laughs> what does that mean? That wasn't a sentence. Gossiping and blaming are a few indicators that misaligned fire and energy is at play. Do I gossip? Am I a gossip? Not really. Not really. I don't blame really care me. enough. Do you blame? I try not to judge, bro. <laughs> when in balance, you're thoughtful and disciplined. Absolute bullshit. Yeah, this is bullshit. When out of balance, you argue excess heat. Sounds about right. Like a fire ant. Like a fire ant. And what's the unicorn's name? Reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. That sounds like that sounds like what your head is. <laughs> sounds like my next vibe. It's difficult to see, hear, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Did they ever exist? No. Does that mean uh, done? No, I'm checking. Well, we've got to do yours. I've got to do the rest of this. The mind answers maybe, or it could be, or no way. This very contemplation explains a relationship to divinity. Oh. I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're a rabbit, apparently. Yeah. And the rabbit loves to remind his friends that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him. I don't know what that's a metaphor. He talks about it so loudly, in fact, that one day the eagle hears it and thanks him for the great idea. What? So you, you, you it's like your prophecy. Yeah, you bring, you bring it on yourself. Is that what prophecy. I was like? I don't know, bro. Ross is present. He's a whale. <laughs> Fitting. Not afraid of emotional expression or traversing difficult terrain. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> These experiences have enriched, given them stability, strength, and depth that is rare. Not really quite deep, guy. Whale energy is usually linked to feminine forces. Ross is definitely the most inherently masculine, so I'm not having that. <laughs> and Ross's future is an otter. Perhaps the most joyful creature within the spirit deck. Represents absolute bliss. I find that difficult to believe in my future, <laughs> to be honest. Absolute bliss. Yeah. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy without the presence of doubt, worry, or skepticism. That, those are your three defining characteristics, I think doubt, worry, and skepticism. That's, you're right. That is pretty much there you go. what I've got to look forward to. That's us, that's us in a nutshell. <laughs> that's like a window into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> One of mine's a bat. Present. Okay. Restlessness, change of focus, lost in the current. Yeah. Does that sound right? Yeah. Right now? I'm pretty lost in the current. The, the fish loves to be subsumed in life's current. Nothing pleases it more than movement, movement and more movement. The roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while, but usually leads to the wariness and slippery relationships. Ooh. With all the possibilities out there in the vast waters, the fish becomes lost without clear goals and intentions. Spend some time with the lunar forces, dear fish, as the peace and calm of the moon will soothe your soul. So I need to swim at night. Yep. You're, you're out of balance when you're distracted and you change your mind. To bring into balance, set a small goal and accomplish it. I think being distracted is a good thing. Like if you're swimming in the, yeah. if you're lost in lose the current. Lose yourself in the uh, waters mm -hmm. of life. 
that was your mm-hmm. present. Yeah, present. I mean, it's not, present it's, fish. Not, it's not a million miles away. In the past, you're starfish. You used to be starfish. That's good. You're beautiful, alluring, superficial, or shallow. Kind of a mixed bag. I used to be superficial. Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure about that. I think fish is a lot more accurate so far. Nice. You, uh, to bring yourself into balance, you need to be some positive friends. That's a load of bollocks. <laughs> the future. The bat. <laughs> this dark- should be right. This is darkness. Yeah. Letting go. Death leading to rebirth. Yeah, I'm up for some rebirth. Always. Yeah. Every day should be a rebirth. In the darkness, it can see all that is invisible. Refuses to let go, brother misses when you're out of balance. Refuses to let go, he just says let go and letting go. That's when you're the first out, out of balance. Oh, right. So when you're in balance, you accept, adapt, and adjust. Accept, accept rebirth. Yep. You need to uh, watch the sunrise. Just bring yourself into balance. All right, so I'm going to stay up all night, swim in, in the dark. Yep. And then I'm going to turn into a bat and watch the sunrise. You'll be a superficial bat. <laughs> Hummingbird, dolphin. Hummingbird. Found Adam. Adam passed. Is that the first? That's yeah. Hummingbird, yeah. I mean, I read it out of order. Hummingbird. <laughs> Positive, enthusiastic, spiritually resourceful. Inside the tiny hummingbird <laughs> resides an endless well of energy and positivity. The hummingbird's secret is that they have learned where to gather nectar and they return to the sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. The sacred elixir (laughs) springs from many sources, but usually involves nature, creativity, and exploring spirituality. Where's this nectar? What is the nectar? Where can I get some nectar? Oh, they are hummingbirds. Hummingbirds live on. They they get the nectar there out out of the trees, isn't it? Or flannel. Oh, got the beaks. Follow the way of the hummingbird, you cannot go wrong. Every droplet of life becomes sweet. Mm. Every moment worth savouring. When in balance, smart, curious, loves to learn. When out of balance, pushy, insistent, sharp. Mm. To bring into balance, take a class. <laughs> That's pretty boring. I think swimming at night is like that. Is that boring? Take a class. No, it was the beginning was good. No. What was it? The nectar of life. Yeah. Uh, Adam Present. The dolphin. Smiced. Innately intelligent healer. Light. Blessings. That, that is awful grammar. It's a mist. Light. Blessings. Innately light, intelligent healer. Light. light. Blessings. Just light. Light. Light weight. The gifts of the dol- dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp. Dolphins' personalities are often drawn to the healing arts. Yeah, accurate. Yeah. As they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit. It's easy for the dolphin ty- ty- types. I thought it said tires. Types to understand the impact they make on the world. These creatures play such an important role on the wheel of karma that coming into contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and yeah. your life. This card can also indicate profound blessing is on the way. On the way. <laughs> so you're you're a healer, yeah, and strong spiritual practice. And out of balance, <laughs> underestimates <laughs> own power. To bring into balance like-minded spirits. Wow. Are they going bang on the dolphins? Not quite. Sure. Yeah, they have sex with both, don't they? <laughs> they do? And they get high. Do they? Yeah, off the blowfish. Uh, okay. Future. <laughs> Cobra represents a teacher of spiritual guardian. Pausing, waiting for the inner teacher. Yeah. I thought Cobra is supposed to be Dangerous. Oh, it's got to be coming to that, surely. The essence of the cobra is found deep within us in the form of the inner teacher. It manifests externally in those special guides who have led us along our path. What would it feel like to be a student again? What are you ready to learn? 
Remember right. the old saying. I'm trying to learn about cobras. When the student is ready, the teacher disappears. Ah. Why not? So, when in balance, the student right. of life, humble and wise, when out of balance, know it all, egocentric. Mm. Hiss, hisses a lot as well. Yeah. To bring into balance, take a class. Study. Take a class. Ever, you're just supposed <laughs> to study all the time. And get high off blowfish. Yeah, I didn't say that. Uh, that was my. That was your animal spirit guidebook. Yeah. Your version. There we go. 